Good morning, Silicaga High School. This is Max Cleveland here. And I'm Shay Swain. Now it's time for your lunch with Shamai Wilson. Good morning, Silicaga High School. I'm Alex White with Mr. Story, Mr. Cottingham. Miss Story, you gonna eat lunch today? I might. What they have? We're having lasagna. Rolls, corn on the cob, fruit, and banana pudding. I might go down there and check that out. Sounds good. That's all. Back, Back to you in the studio. studio. Thanks, Shamaya. Here's the top of the morning. This Saturday, the YWCA Central Alabama will host Prom Palooza 2017 at at St. Simon Peter Episcopal Church's Parish Hall um, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. In order to receive a free dress, students must pre-register. You can get the registration information uh, outside Ms. Brewer's room. Wednesday is the final payment date to Balfour for graduation fees and order balances. Balfour will be in the concession stands from 7.45 to 9 on March the 8th. Seniors may also pay balances at the Balfour office on Norton and online via the website. Late fees will, also, will apply after this date. If you like helping others with books and technology, then you should consider being a library assistant next year. Pick up an application from Ms. Dates in the Media Center. Additional information about prom can be found on the school website under news and information. Please go and vote for the songs you would like to hear during prom. The link is listed under the prom link and the deadline to vote is March the 10th. AP US History students, there's a mandatory study session this Saturday from 9 to 12 at SHS. Remember to enter through the main entrance closest to the media center. Congratulations to the Varsity Scholars Bowl team on their first place win at regionals this past Saturday. Will Hughes was the tournament MVP, duh, with a 92 point game, a game average. This team will compete for uh, the state title on Friday, April the 7th. That's all for the top of the morning. Now here's Alex White with the weather. Hello, we're here with your Aggie weather with Mr. Story. Mr. Cottingham. The high today is 72. The low is 42. And there's 0% chance of rain. It's going to rain. Do not believe it. <laughs> believe me. Get your rain jacket and the raincoat. <laughs> That's all for you. Have you ever expected <laughs> Would you like to be a part of journalism? Uh, like Aggie TV or the yearbook staff, then you should stop by Miss McTeer's room. There's also a link on the school website on the right side that'll take you to a Google Doc where you can sign up. We'd love to have you. Here are today's general announcements. Students, please be mindful of the murals being painted on the second floor wing down by the art room. Miss Bell is using oil paint, which is permanent paint. If you touch it, it will not wash off your hands without mineral spirits and it will not come out of clothes. Do not move the chairs or tape that has been put up. Please walk around these. The 37th Annual Spring Photography Contest held by Photographer Forum Magazine will allow entry soon. The early entry date is April 14th and the final entry date is May 19th. Interested students can register through pfmagazine.com. Don't forget, cap and gown purchase will be on March 29th during second and third block. The sign up link is under Senior News on the school website. Prom tickets are now $60 through March 17th. You must buy a ticket and turn the field trip form by March 17th. If your date does not attend school at SHS, be sure to fill out the Google form on the school website under the prom, web prom section. Sulacog Lily is asking for students to work such stands this season. The volunteer list is posted by Ms. Lay's room, room 108, if you're interested in signing up. Looking for scholarships? Applications for the PTO scholarship are now available in guidance. To be eligible, your parent must be a member of PTO. Membership is $5. See Ms. Brewer to join. Applications for the scholarship are now due April 7th. Interested in being a health science intern? Internship applications are now available. Eligible students may pick up an application from Ms. McGrady. They are due by March 17th. That's all for the general announcements. Today in history, in 1936, the first NASCAR race took place in Daytona. Back to you in the studio. And here's Max Jackson with sports. This is Max Jackson with your Aggie Sports. Good luck to all the girls trying out for varsity cheerleading today and tomorrow. That's all today for your Aggie Sports. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for tuning in to Aggie TV News. And remember, we are a family in CCC. College, career, community rating. Have a great hump day, Aggies. <laughs> Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America 
and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the dress code check. Please pause for a moment of silence.